Hello everyone. Uh, today on my bench I have a Sony mini disc deck, a model GA333ES. Uh, so this deck uh, doesn't return disc and don't read the new discs or even don't erase this one. So as you may see, it can read the table of contents, it can play. So let me open it and let me see what's inside. So see track five here, the plane, no problem. It's playback. Let me see, let me open it. And I, I would be eager to fix it because it's my personal deck. All right, see you soon. Okay, everyone, I decided you may be interested, so I'm just removing two screws here uh, with the ground wires and now removing the two more screws to open the top cover and get access to the disc and see why it is not a jack. Here is the cover, plain metal, but it's it starts in sick. Let me put it aside. So what's going on? Gears moving. I right. should have a belt, I suppose, somewhere. That's a switch which should be moved and by this cover, I suppose. Right, when it moves, it pushes the switch to tell that it's ejected. All right. I don't see belt right here. Let me see if I can remove this part. No. No, looks like I need to pull up full tape transport out and see how to replace the belt. Let me read instruction for a moment and I return back to you. Hey guys, and uh, looking a little bit longer in schematic, I decided to open and I see that belt is fried. So I open from the bottom side. Now let's check if motor is running. Yeah, you see it's running. So we just need to replace a belt. Okay, let me do it and let's see if it will work after that. Here guys, I'm cleaning the gears and installing the new belt, which is not too tight and not too relaxed. And I set a little bit thicker, like about two millimeter belt, so it will last longer. I would not open in this position because a disc will just fall down and I don't like to break anything so I will just turn it over to the normal position and meet you there. Okay, I was able to remove the disc, uh, however we still not working smooth, so here is the disc, Sony 74 minutes, uh, but uh, it's... Uh, has a problems, you see? It's struggling to go easy. And when we're going back, it's again. Okay, I probably need to check and lubricate because it was sitting for too long. If belt is so fried, so I believe it was sitting for a while. Let me see what else and how I may improve it. See somewhere in the middle. It just struggles to go smoothly and straight. When I remove this metal part, it works fine without this metal part. 
but now it's troubles. Okay, let me see. See you soon. Here, guys, I remove the cover, and you may see how it works. Okay, so without cover, it works smoothly. Yeah, nice close by itself. Okay, so probably because there is no ground or whatever is happening, it just closed by itself. Uh, in this position, so probably, yeah, here we get one, two, so like that. So now it should be better. Let me see. Okay, now it goes straight. Why? Let me close and check. Hey guys, I was able to um, successfully make uh, make tape make this cartridge run in here with no problem. But um, then there is a problem with recording. I disassembled it to take a look, and also I mentioned in the instruction so how to properly set gears and this gears has been scrambled so definitely someone already was here and tried to fix it but what you need to make sure so you see this mark here mark on the gear and this hole in assembly should be on the same line here and the same should be here in this case it will work properly all right just for your information i still try and understand as soon as i start recording uh disc uh, don't uh, rotate i have no idea i measure it the magnetic head so here it measures like two and a half ohms maybe 2.3 ohms so this magnetic head should be good maybe this cable is bad i'm not sure i need to check um or like there is no any reason it's it's don't work much so that's the all way it works you see so that's how magnetic heads get here a magnetic head is just a small ball right here well, so just small coil i believe which uh, technically touches the disc, as I understood. Well, trying to work out and see what's wrong with this guy. Let's see. Ya. Hello, guys. So I'm moving forward with this assembly. It was a little bit tricky setup, so I had to remove the carriage from here by removing this back shore which holds this uh, metal uh, shaft then move this pin to move this carriage forward to open these holes right there to be able to lower down this mechanism now I have mechanism separated I'm looking further how to disassemble you okay guys i'm gently removing this uh, holder for the disc which goes up and down lowers the disc and then was able to remove three screws from below so one here in this hole in the middle of the screen and two screws here on the side and now I have mechanism released. Now I will measure uh, the connection, so it should show me the same two ohm as I measure it here. Then I would make sure that this cable is work for magnetic head, and then let's go from there. See you soon. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm not sure how to better show you. I found the scratches. Uh, right here on the laser pins you see here in the middle and the other one on the other side so someone already was measuring a laser 
I didn't measure yet, but it looks like uh, it's uh, dead. So the only chance for me is to order a new laser head to make this guy running. Alright, it is what it is. See you, bye bye. Hey guys, I was able to fix this uh, disc and its records. As you may see, I just recorded a short, like 15-20 uh, minutes, seconds session, you see. And there was like no, and talk recorded well and so on. Everything works now. Uh, root cause, uh, this part was assembled improperly. Uh, before it was always lower in this head. And as a result, it was not allowing it to go further when you click record. Now, when I properly assembled everything, and this white pin is before the metal pin, right there. Okay, now it can easily work. So check yourself. That's I'm clicking recording, and see what will be happening. Okay, it's ready. Is prepared to recording. Now I'll click pause, check, and we're recording. And now counter works. Woohoo! Wow, that was not easy to understand because I was working with this equipment first time. I never was working with mini disc before. I have no idea who and uh, why uh, was this assembling before me what was the reason so 26 27 28 29 30 stop recording all right now we see it talk is red so when i click open it will write talk and it's doing it see now it will rise heads and eject the discs now we should have 15 tracks let's check all right it will be closed automatically because it don't push this switch because we don't have this cover. All right, talk reading should be 15 tracks. Well, well. nice. Okay, a little bit sinking. I saw that laser diet is dead. It was showing like uh, 1.6, 1.7 volts versus 0.6. Okay, good. I'm happy. So now let me recap this board here, this audio board, and it will be ready to go. See you soon. And here, guys, before I uh, doing any other work, I just close the cover and doing a music recording test. As you may hear, uh, it's currently a place uh, from my computer and recording at the same time. Now let's stop okay now we have track 14 let's check okay 14 let's play yes it was i just recorded same song now let's write the talk It opens. Okay, here is our disk. Close. Now we should read. Fourteen. Let's go to fourteen and check that it still has my song. Yes, it's the same song you might hear. So it works, really, really works, I'm happy. See you guys. Hey guys, and I just completed update for this board. As you may see, I installed it more capacitors than I expected. Uh, here is the AKM microchip. Okay, it's ADC board. And these cups I replace it, and these two cups I replace it on the DC board, on the output. And you may compare, so this was installed, these two 
same 100 microfarad, 63 volts. We're installing Super Audio CD player, and this too been installed at 100 microfarad, 50 volts in the mini disc player. So they said, oh, it's still compressing, it's not so cool, <laughs> let's install cheaper capacitors. It still will work. Okay, now let me assemble and let's compare. I hope it will finally start sound same cool as CD player season. Hey guys, here are everything assembled, playing, recording. So this Japanese recording, I don't pretty much appreciate the sound. It's a little bit like, um, muted. Okay, now I just recorded. Oops, sorry. I mean, like, stop, not open. Uh, just a second. I just recorded one more song, so the last one, 15. And I was using the audio analog output, input. And here, I'm already here in headphones. How much more high frequencies is, is recorded? Much more details. Okay, so now we'll assemble everything and check on the speakers. That was the main goal. My goal was like to try it out and see if I can make a mini disc player play exactly cool as my CD now plays. Like it, it just, I can't stop listening. Like it's been three days and I still listen into my CDs like over the long because they all sound differently sound new, I, I can hear much better 3D Cena. I can hear the difference, so different CDs recorded differently. Like uh, one has a narrow uh, Cena, other is wide Cena. Like uh, others has instruments distributed. Just today I was listening to Mozart performance like of the orchestra and it was so cool when piano was like playing in one place uh violins in other place uh like it's it's just like very very cool so okay thanks for time time to assemble